Ah, Christmas. Now Christmas is coming, but let's not get ahead of us. Besides this idea of let's decorate, get some gifts out, let's buy some expensive champagnes, let's buy some fancy dinners and have... Its core idea has been so deeply shoved down people's head that now we have this concept again that have implemented the buy now pay later scheme, which you guessed, it resembles a visual cycle, similar to how you would use your credit card. You know, those fancy metal things that you use and you swipe and get everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I found this article where I was researching earlier. In this article, which I'll link it in the comment, this starts by stating to us that 24-year-old goal used this scheme, the buy now, pay later, for the festive period for her in order to get over with. I mean, you could pay it off at the end of the month, similar to a credit card. Okay, okay. Let's just say, okay, I get that. Fair enough. Maybe you're struggling or maybe you're having some issue. However, why would you go and pursue these lengths of getting yourself in debt for a bag, perfume or whatever insignificant things you tend to buy? I mean, why? When a lot of people, besides family, that let's just say you get them a small thing, and let's, I can tell you that they don't care unless they're their friends or you want to impress Kevs. Just to quote you some famous dude from Fight Club, you literally do a job that you don't like so you can buy things we don't need with the money we don't have and to impress the people we don't like. I mean, this, this quote is so old, but yet it still resonates. You can say, yes, it's controversial, or, oh my God, but so beautifully said and placed that I can tell you that the rationale behind it, and besides all the gifts that you start chugging around for no reason, maybe they end up in a bin after a month. So why would you waste so much time? Then you have so much rubbish that you see on the streets or even dumped in some random spots. But anyway, you could also pay this amount on the next month's plan. This affects your credit score though as well, don't, don't forget, because these companies now, they're worse than a credit card. So later on, let's just say you want to get more things and get more in debt and maybe you want to buy a house. Well, guess what, mate? Because after that, this, this thing will come by, back and bite you in the behind. Since one Christmas, two years ago, you were an impulse buyer. I don't know. I mean, the lady, for example, that is in this article... She forgot to put her minimum payment at the end of the month. And the company which offered offers this buy now, pay later scheme, uh, you know what they did? They started sharing her information with the credit agencies about her failure to pay. Well, <laughs> well, well, well. The reporters are mentioning always that to the repayment should be both affordable, let's add some quotation marks here, imaginable to pay them, but even if you forget to pay the minimum amount back with time, let's just say, you can't say goodbye to your dreams because, fellas, there's a thing now. Credit cards and credit agencies will not hesitate to hit you when your world is spinning the best. So even the government, which said back in 2021, they will regulate these things, but nothing yet has been done. So if you see them doing that, I mean, I doubt, because they're still having issues trying to regulate these issues, these problems. However, that's, that's, that's the main point. Why would you do that? Why? I know Christmas is coming. I like the idea of Christmas, the concept, but it was because of family. That you stay and you spend some time with family. But other than that... I don't believe in Christianity. I don't believe in Jesus. So deep down, I don't know. Maybe it's this concept that stood with us over time for no valid reason. And yet we reached in UK 2023 a milestone that you can go buy gifts, buy random things that you don't need and won't probably use to get in debt for some random people. Whereas just leave them be. Buy something small. Buy something I don't know. Send them an email, make them a PowerPoint presentation, make a video. I don't know. But why would you get yourself to this length and to this much trouble? For what? Anyway, that's been a lot of covering and being off topic. Adios.